just wanted to show you this little room that I had uh, set up a while ago. It's been uh, uh, seen some seen some bad times since I have stopped working at this facility on a regular basis. But uh, this uh, was originally set up to be a shop where I could do uh, pretty much anything. So I had uh, plenty of power and uh, water supply and a uh, nice little sink with a sump pump here. Um, and uh, it used to be a server room. There's this is a five-ton air handler. And there used to be two of them in here, actually. One of them was over here, more or less, where the sink was. Um, and so uh, and there's no servers in here anymore. So uh, it's just a, uh, you can pretty much turn this into a cooler, if you like. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, I got a, got a hose bib over here. I installed all this piping and I just, uh, just brazed everything in just because of practice brazing at the time. So, soft solder room right there too. It has an inch and a quarter water supply and then a little half inch for the sink here. I got a reducer bushing in that corner somewhere. Um, yeah, and we uh, pulled a, a three phase circuit over here for a, a test testing heat uh, water source heat pumps which again was what I was uh, at the time the uh, management was uh, on board with wanting to repair everything they could um, so we were I was setting up to have the potential to run uh, to rebuild and test run in this shop uh, some water source units um, so the big water supply that would be way you know way more than enough for even the largest unit we had um, so so we did that, uh, teed off of the two inch main outside there. Um, and then a three phase electrical service with them, um, I don't know, at least some 40, 40 amps. Uh, I don't think, I think that's probably about also about the limit of what we would need to test anything, although we could upgrade those. I think this, uh, this is rated for more than that. I think the wire is good for these 60 amps. Not too sure about that. So, nice breaker panel, all these outlets, you know, they're uh, all wired into, I think, a couple 20 amp circuits in there. So, again, you can plug in pretty much any 120 volt load you could want to test, uh, even you know, a couple things. So, built some pretty solid workbench over here. Some strut and Strut bases into the ground there. Nice solid core door. Uh, commercial size, of course. Um, but yeah, anyways, this room has pretty much been turned into a, a pretty, pretty disheveled storage room. I'm not sure what the uh, maintenance people that are here now are all about, but a little pipe rack up there too. Still got some pipe and strut stash in the corner here. Some all thread. We do still replace units at this building occasionally, so it's nice to keep stuff on site. Um, but yeah, this outlet strip goes all the way down the wall. I'm sure you've seen something like that before. Pretty handy for this kind of thing. And uh, yeah, we've had some water intrusion around here, as you can see. Uh, can't really see it here, but yeah. So it's kind of gone downhill a little bit, but uh, yeah, this uh, this AC unit is worth talking about a little bit more. It's uh, it it blows cold. I'm I'm not sure uh, what size orifice they have in there or whatever, but it is it's definitely something more generous than a standard uh, system would be. Like the uh, I I measured it one day and it, it it does like a 40 degree split or something ridiculous like that, but nothing nothing's freezing up either, you know. So it's a uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure what they have in there for a metering device, but it's it's cold. So it's not a TXV either. It's definitely not an orifice of some kind. Uh, we moved the other one of these into the elevator equipment room, and it works very nicely for that with the same, no, no change was made to, to whatever orifice was in there. And uh, same thing, that one, there's a lot of heat in that room, so it's a lot of, uh, makes a lot more sense for there. It runs, uh, keeps it, you know, 76 or something degrees in there. And uh, you turn this one on, and it gets down to it'll get down to sixty in a hurry. So, um, yeah, and a couple old temperature, high and low temp alarms for the room. Uh, again, one of the server room. So, anyways, that's just me rambling about what was going to be my little shop here, and uh, 
Um, yeah. Not sure if it's interesting or not, but there it is. Take care. Thanks for watching.